just within that singular meeting and direct staff exactly. to provide with those materials. So, Larry, I mean, you've called for the meeting. What yeah. specific items do you want to be addressed in that meeting and voted upon by the end of the meeting? Well, I, I guess we need to fix those two problems. Well, one problem definitely in the, in the charter ordinance, which is the four-person quorum. But as long as the special meeting discusses the whole ordinance, uh, we might as well address the things that you also mentioned about wards, perhaps, or do you? That's not in chapter. That's not in. That's not in. That's not in ordinance. No, well, no, I would, I, would not, I would not. I would not address no. wards at this that's point. I when actually it when says it says, shall be elected at large, so it right. does opt out of ward, yeah, it, wards. Yeah, it opts out of wards. We are essentially going to have to repeal Charter Ordinance yes. 19, so we are repealing that, and then we have to put into place a new ordinance. We need to know how that ordinance needs to be drafted, what elements will play a piece in that, what we're opting back into, what we're opting out of. That's why I, I'm very yep. concerned that a week is not long enough to iron out this complex issue because it's not a singular. Here's quorum. It's we voted to get out of this and now we need to vote how to get back into it. It's a, it's a big nut to crack and will involve a lot of legal precedents. I, I, the meeting's already been called, but that's my concern from a staff perspective is now we've tasked staff within seven days to completely provide us the materials to be prepared to repeal an ordinance, one that we can't operate without having something in place to replace it. So now we have to draft what that replacement's going to be. So what exact elements are going to be part of that new ordinance that we're going to be putting in place? When voting I, to put it. But this one, is why we have meetings, though, and to get staff's input. Well, and, uh, but one of the, we won't be able to vote on it. One of the reasons that, that we task staff with giving us packets earlier, and we all get them by Tuesday evening now, it was so that we would have adequate time to prepare, to refer back to them for meetings. I, yeah, I, I am. That would be well, but, but well, that's not. That's our, our ordinance only says 24 hours, though. I think it it doesn't. This, the the greater time was never codified by. Well, I, I understand that, but but the greater okay. time was something okay. that you particularly had to ask for. Well, sure. I I, you know, I asked I, again. I asked for this change nine months ago when you when you and you correctly. Hey, hey, what what. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to bring some sanity to this a little bit here. I I, under, I understand there was some there's some back and forth on this from nine months ago. What I'm looking at here is an opportunity to help to craft an ordinance. I'm not looking to appeal the ordinance on the 29th and have something to have it replaced with on the 29th. I'm looking at something akin to taking apart the ordinance, looking at the aspects of the ordinance, having an ordinance crafted and ready to be voted on on the first meeting in May when we see the new council person. That's what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at doing all this in a week. There's no way you're going to do all this in a week. We don't have the time. You're That's not what was signed for. The signed for was a special meeting with agenda items to be acted upon. It's the right. right. way I understand it. Marina, is that how the letter discussion. was drafted? It says discuss, actually. It didn't say discuss. Special meeting on April 29th to discuss changes to Charter Ordinance 19. Right. So is yeah. that a special meeting, can it be a discussion only item or will it have to have action at that? Work session, Mr. Fadovich, or do you mean well, I mean, if, meeting for action? I mean, we, we discuss things with council, council action forms that advocate a certain, you know, uh, direction. Either staff recommends this, staff rec doesn't recommend this, whatever. And so I guess uh, at, that, at the end of that discussion and at the end of the research that's done over the next few days, Hopefully, we'll have a direction to, you know, by uh, city administrator as to how we should proceed. Let me just clarify something. Yeah. <laughs> On the 29th, are we taking action or are we having a discussion? I mean, the, the meeting says discuss. My, yeah. my discussion, not, not a vote. Yeah. If, okay. If I, okay. If I thought we were just going to be discussing, I called the meeting without the vote, but without the, without the petition. But I, I think I thought you were wanting to take action on the 29th. What there is like a, repeal the ordinance on the 29th. It makes a difference from a public perspective, so they understand what should be expected for that Monday. So if they have citizen input, they'll be prepared to give that. They'll have information available to them, and they can play a part of that democratic process I, that we discussed and earlier. And, and, if we, and, if we, and if we repeal an ordinance, especially when there's pieces in there, like quorum, then we're going to have to be prepared to replace it. That's why it matters, because if, if, if we were 
If I thought we were, you weren't trying to repeal it on the 29th, I would have gladly no. called a meeting. No, I would have gladly I'm, called a meeting on the 29th. So okay, you, we're all in agreement on the 29th. We're going to discuss right, but the coordinates and action may be taking. I mean, and it could be decided that, listen, we don't have enough information, so we need to postpone, have another work session. Yeah, I don't think we, we come in with any, the discussion on the 29th. any preconceived Perfect. notions. We're, we're asking staff to research it. And then I think it needs to be made very, very clear of the intent of the meeting. I think we're, we're, we're casting a foggy cloud that people are going to have a hard time interpreting. Are they talking about it? Are they going to vote upon it? And that might change the way that the citizens want to be involved in that process. Am I the only one seeing it that way? No, you're not the only one seeing it that way. Well, but I think we just said we're talking about it. Yeah, but then if we get to a consensus, then we may act upon it at the end of the meeting. We need to commit that we're either going to act upon it or we are not going to act well, upon I it. Well, I commit that, that I wouldn't act upon it until the next meeting. Well, then, then you're, if, okay. staff, if staff gets to, comes to the conclusion the next week that there's a recommendation that they are going to make, you can act on it. You can either vote to affirm or deny that action. So I'm not saying I'm not coming into this with any preconceived notions of what uh, they will they will end up you know giving us on Monday or next week. I mean the legal that you know Jim Hubbard may have a different take on this. Mm -hmm. He may he may say you know Charter Ordinance 19 isn't your biggest problem. It's getting another ordinance in that. That, that protects you against the defamation suit that may come if you deny an appointment. So uh, that, this is just this is no different than if we had any other council action form. We get research, we get we get to talk about it, and then we get to vote on it. So if there if there is a vote, sometimes sometimes uh, like in the case of the um, of the health care plan, you know uh, we we had a decision to uh, bring in two consultants. And it was decided later that uh, you know we didn't have enough information, so we delayed that process, and uh, we came back at a later date with another recommendation just weeks ago that this is the, the path we should pursue. So I, I don't think anyone here knows what the, direct, the correct answer is, but that doesn't preclude us from seeking truth in the next week. I, 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 we can well, I, I, that answer I, I, if this. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Steve. Go ahead, Steve. Lost it. If we can't, if we don't, by the start of the meeting on Monday, have clearly defined new ordinances that are available for the public to read and review prior to us voting upon them, I don't think we are serving their interests. And I don't think if we're going to have a discussion where we hash it out, draft the ordinance, and then vote upon it, we are not doing what's been what's, asked of us. Let's do what we've signed up to do, which is have a discussion at a special meeting on the 29th at 7 o'clock. Let's see what staff recommends. I don't, wanna, I I don't, wanna, like I don't every, know that staff's going to recommend anything. I, I mean, I, well, I, I kind of thought that was well, that's, information and, gathering. And, 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 and I don't think that was the intent at all by the letter. I'll be when, honest with that. that wasn't I, I thought it was. Well, I, Let's guess it. I, it doesn't matter. When it comes to a charter ordinance, yeah. staff isn't going to want a recommendation. They, they're not going to want to give a recommendation. They're going to want to recommend, they, they're going to want to implement the recommendation they get from us. Well, unless the attorney says, you guys have, have lived with this system too long and it's too risky to wait one more day. I'm just saying, we don't know what anybody's going to say out of this because we haven't delved into it. I'd like to be farther along in this process so we don't have to start at this point. But those actions which I advocated for nine months ago were not heard. And, and so now we have to start with something somewhere and we have to move forward from that point. Let's just see, I mean, what are we afraid of? That there's going to be well, information well, that staff going to make a recommendation and we, either, and we get to vote, as we always do, on a council I, I action. I think it's a fear. I don't think it's a fear, Larry. I think the issue here is that I think that uh, I agree with Heath. I think the public, the, the public needs to have a reasonable expectation of what's going to happen when we get together. Well, the public, well, public will be advised through the council action I mean, form. But okay, so so, but I guess here, here's I I don't understand why the if we discuss on the 29th, staff comes with information. We say. Let's just say we want the ordinance to read that we go to a three-person quorum, um, whatever other changes. That's then drafted, publicized, and then on the first meeting in May, the public yep. then has a chance to review the ordinance that's redocumented 
and make comments at that meeting before it's actually voted.